Good job, Jess. Um, Let's go, baby. First shed, 2024 spring. And I think we missed this one last year. We did. We missed this little muley. It's been sitting for a while. Pretty white, a little cracked. So as you guys know, we cannot fish for this month. It is closed. We usually make a couple videos, finding sheds. We got a bunch of awesome land to cover. Right over there, we're coming down the draw. We can see a set of horns sticking up. It may be a deadhead, just the way it's sitting. Let's go investigate. Let's go there, Sniffer. And it's beautiful down here, and we're out of the freaking wind. Oh, it's cold today. Very well. Could be something to do with that boy. Looks brown though. Oh, there's a lot. There's a massacre down here. Here we go. Oh, what a cool head. Coyotes had their way with it. Holy lick. Pretty. Nothing big. Got a little bit of mass going in there. Extra points makes it pretty. We think Jess. Cause of death. CWD. It has taken so many deer. It's sad. You see so many deadheads every year and it's getting worse. But it was a fresh one. And for those of you, you can keep deadheads, but you have to apply for a permit and all that BS. But if you find something big, it'd be worth it. But something like that, just leave it. So we've probably been out here three hours. Number one and number two is the deadhead. So we're going to take a little break and eat some jerky. I didn't give her any, or I didn't bring her any food, so sit. Look how gentle she is. Nice. You can hold your finger there all day and she'll never bite it. She's awesome. So we're gonna have a little break and continue searching for some sheds, catching deer. That's the main reason it's always good to stop and check in places like this, because lots of times when they're gonna die, they're gonna go try and find somewhere deep in the bushes. But I mean, that one probably got dragged there, but to start with, they can probably do, we'll find them in brush, something hard to get at. So we like cruising places like that, checking fence lines and where they jump, where they bounce off. And usually when they lose one, they can lose the other one. They might shake it off because their head will be kind of weirdly balanced. And if you know how deer are traveling their, their paths, you can try and follow those where they bed down. There's a few ways to find them. It's not too hard. Don't overthink it. Another thing you want to do, you can't get everything with a quad. I know it sucks. You got to be a little more ambitious, but you, these little spots in here, like I was saying earlier, earlier, they may crawl in and die. Like there's one down there. It doesn't look very big, but I see a little bit of horns. So let's not hurt ourselves getting down there. Oh, Jess, you should probably not jump. Don't. Oh, there you go, Jess. Another little one, another dead head. Holy moly. Okay, it's had the way with this one too, probably. And this is a, I don't know, eh, it could be a year old, maybe. It's really brown. It's been sitting, actually, no. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's brown, it's not really cracked that much. Could be this year. But it's laying in the water and stuff, so it probably doesn't help it very much. Don't be afraid, check spots like this out. You never know. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing on Hank, and it ain't that long till I'm back in the bar. Lots of times it's a matter of finding them now, because you see it's been, there's been another massacre right there. And up on the hill there's more fur, and we got body parts here too. So we're gonna look around, see if we can find us some horns. We almost missed a giant. Almost. Stay or not, whatever. Jess, come on, get the horn. Right here. Hey, bloodhound. <laughs> Good girl. Not big. This guy is from last year for sure. Maybe two years. Got a few cracks in it. We'll take him. We'll take him. Look at you. Dog's got her eyes peeled too. <laughs> we'll 
just spotted another one. It's right in a road allowance. You can just see the good. We can just see the tips right there. So we're gonna check it out. It's definitely white. It's definitely not this year's. Let's go. Right there. And the best part, like since this is a road allowance, you get the fence line there, the fence line, fence line there. Super good chance of finding one bounced off their head or rolled off or whatever you want to call it. All right, what we got? This is another last year one again though. It's got some cracks. I must have missed this one. A lot of ground to cover, especially when you're by yourself. I only got two, well, we got four eyes there, but she usually misses everything. That one's not even worth getting off the quad for. This is old, this is probably like three or four years old. Holy crap. Holy crap, Jess, Jess, sit. Oh, look, sit. Sit. Oh yeah, it's a pretty girl. Pretty girl, stay. We almost missed it. Oh, around the edge. What's with these small ones this year? We haven't found anything. It's nice to find a couple of really nice brown ones. Nothing yet. Well, we're just checking the edge of the Karaganas now when they bed up on the sides. First one, hopefully not the last. Another giant, everybody. Come on, Jess. Oh, that's awful. This is awful. That's a few years old for sure. So this is what we're trying to help the farmers avoid, is that. It looks like Jessica missed that one last year. I hope we didn't get a flat tire. 